guys, welcome back to the channel. We are actually gonna do a full walkthrough and first impression on the Super Pacific. We've been getting a lot of comments and questions and emails sent to us saying, hey, show us a little bit more about this beautiful thing you have on the back of your truck. So let's get into it. top questions we get is why did we go to the canopy all-in-one style of camp tent versus the bed rack with the rooftop tent and it starts right here with the doors um, and the security that we have with this setup um, it also has to do with the inside ability to climb up through the inside of it but these doors are made out of laser cut aluminum bed formed everything CNC the hardware CNC match the, the, the locks and latches are all single key, which is nice, um, and they're very firm. You open the door with one hand, and it comes up. It actually wants to fly up on you a little bit because the struts are 40-pound struts. There's two 40-pound struts on each side. The hardware is, is very robust. Um, one of the, the nice features of this, in addition to the seal around the edges here, we have a rain gutter. So even if any water got past your door here, you're going to have a rain gutter that's going to keep it and drain it down along the channel here and really down along the side of your bed, keeping the inside dry. So all of these rivet points along the canopy are all aircraft rivets, and it's really robust, and it's just a beautiful design that they have on this, this camper. Um, we are extremely happy with our decision with this and not to knock other manufacturers, but just the rolled lines of the camper, um, the bent aluminum, it just feels sturdy at a lightweight. You know, you feel, you don't feel like you're giving away strength for the lightweight that this is. It's a very sturdy unit. You know, when you slam the hinges down, it just feels solid. So another great thing about the Super Pacific is, look how wide this hatch door is. You can load and unload gear for your travels, for your adventures, or if you're just using your truck as a work truck or day-to-day -day truck for your Home Depot runs, you still have access to the back, which is a super awesome feature that really attracted us to the Super Pacific as well. So in doing our research um, before we decided to go with the switchback, is we looked at some other competitors, most notably a slide-in style. However, you know, we're still working, we're not full-time on the road yet, so having the use and functionality of your truck bed is a bonus. So one of the options from Super Pacific is the rear window. Not only is it nice to allow some natural light in to the, the interior, but also line of sight for So we haven't had the opportunity to have these wired up yet, but we have a uh, USB, two USB connections, as well as 12 volt. So everybody always wonders, what does it look like up in a tent, rooftop tent, wedge tent? Well, here you go. This is the Switchback X1 wedge tent, and it comes with, when you place an order, the XPED Mega Mat. So what is an XPED Mega Mat? Well, if you look here, here is a valve that you would use either, it does come with a manual pump or you can use an electric pump to hook it up to your truck power. Pumps up the mat and then when you're ready to collapse the tent, you open the deflate valve and as you press the tent down, this expels the air. So you are allowed to keep this X-Bed Mega Mat in your tent when you collapse and break down camp and get back on the road. So you might be wondering, what is this guitar string? does make it kind of like a sound like a guitar string. Well, the guys at Super Pacific and the whole team thought of everything. This thing, um, what it does is when you go to collapse your tent, these assist you by bringing in the fabric so that you don't have to go around and tug or have someone help you bring in all the fabric of the tent so that it shuts down nicely and all compact. So right now in the tent, all the windows are closed except for the, the back panel here. Well, what happens when you have everything closed up, condensation can build up in your tent. Well, to remedy that, they have these um, panels that you can use for ventilation to keep the heat in during winter camping, or if you open them up, 
just nice easy Velcro. Velcro's right on itself. And now you have an open channel here to let ventilation through to keep condensation down or to let a nice breeze circulate through the tent and keep you comfortable. Super Pacific is based out of Portland, Portland, Oregon, up in the Pacific Northwest, and they made these tents specific to handle the weather up there so it can handle anything. Well, sometimes it rains, right? There is a built-in channel here for a rain gutter for the tent. What you do is you pull these tabs, and then we're gonna show you on the outside it bends this um, fiberglass bar, which creates a channel for the rain to go over it. When you don't need the rain gutters, all you gotta do is loosen the straps. It takes the tension off of that rod and you're good to go. Another great feature of the Switchback X1 is the amazing windows or access doors actually as well, because they're all functional with screens. <laughs> It. Got a handy dandy loop here to close it up. And then find your zipper. Now you have a nice open window. You know we love our adventures. Another great feature of the switchback tent is you could be sitting up here having a cold one. Enjoying a nice beautiful sunset. So we've had about four nights in the tent now and we've we've tried it both ways whether we've slept with our head here or our head towards the wedge. So there's pros and cons to both. Getting comfortable with with sleeping here because it is different than where we're coming to with the, the clam style rooftop tent. The clam style rooftop tent had more room overall than this does, but I'm a relatively large individual. I'm six foot plus, 250 plus ish. I'm not gonna give away all my secrets, but we found that ultimately my comfort is sleeping with my head in this direction. So one of the uh, advantages to the fact that you have an opening down below that you climb up into the tent is that they've allowed for some space on each side of these removable panels for your cords to come up. And what I found when I sleep with my feet in this direction, I don't wanna get our brand new thing all dirty with shoes, is my feet hit the wedge. And I'm pretty, the mat itself, is about the size as I am. It's almost just a little over six feet. But I have a hard time with my feet down in this angle. So this leads into one recommendation we have that we'd like to see as an option from Super Pacific, which be, would be to have some sort of pad, additional padding for this section here. Because if you're wanting to sleep, for me, with my head in the wedge, obviously I can't go all the way back into the wedge, so my feet are gonna extend off here. Now we used some foam uh, that we had on the trip with us, coincidentally, that we had for some pillows. We took it out and used it for uh, cushion here for my feet. Um, the other advantage to sleeping with your head in that direction is safety is always on my mind. And if somebody were to try and intrude uh, and come into your, to your tent while you're asleep from either angle, I like the ability to have my feet free to defend if I needed to. Another great feature about the switchback is the ability to basically open up the entire section. And you may need this in, if you're in weather. And right now, a day like today, there, there is some rain, possibly. We're not camping, but if we were camping, you know, it's simple to just push, to slide this back under.
push this back. And essentially, we have the entire area here uh, for lounging. Again, the, the design elements on this is just continue to amaze us with everything we find and all the dish, additional uh, latch points and everything we have. Like, we have them top and bottom here. We haven't designed our full build out yet. We don't. We didn't want to plan too much until we actually got the uh, got it installed so we can design our, our, our build out. But it's just amazing. Like even back behind here, there's there's panels here running your wires through and the channels here that they have to run wires, you know, whether it's LED or whatever you want to hook up through here. It's on both sides, top and bottom. And then even they have points where you can unhook right in the corner here to feed wires up through. So here's what I think is another unique feature about the Super Pacific. We're locked on the outside here on the latch, and all the all the hatches can be can be locked from the outside, but you're never locked from the inside. They have these little nice little levers here that you just push on, and you're out. You need to be. Yet another great feature with Super Pacific is with these latches, it's lockable. You can put a lock through here and then you're unable to open the tent. Continue to be loaded with features. We got T slots, we got three channels here on the side, as well as a channel up here on top. You can mount anything. You can mount our water tank may go up here. Awnings can go up here. You can mount your uh, traction boards. Uh, racks. We're going to have plans to put a rack up on this so we can bring our, our hard paddle boards with us on uh, excursions. So lots of usability with this tent. We ordered and installed this Martin off-road rack long before we planned on ordering the switchback. Although we've lost some functionality of the rack after the install, we still have a little bit of room to mount some additional gear. So not everybody adventures the same way. Some people may do something different than we do. What's great about this setup is you can customize it to suit your needs and your adventure style. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed our closer look at our new Super Pacific Switchback X1. We truly love it so far and really don't have any negatives with it. And we know there's a lot of great products out there, but this one really fit our needs and you know, we're going to continue to build it out, so you're going to want to follow along and see what our updates are. And, and if we do find anything we don't like, we're going to, we're going to want to share that with you. Just so if, if you're in the market and you're wondering which one to get, you know, follow us along and, and see, uh, see what our updates are. And we're looking forward to all of our future adventures utilizing the Switchback. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Hit that notification bell so you know the next time we post a new video. Until, Until next time, time, we'll see you on the open road. Bye. Bye.